All right, my name is Kyle Draper. I run the Serene team uh, at eXp Realty. We're based in the greater Los Angeles area, and we're gonna be talking all about open houses today. So a little bit about our last 12 months. We have 19 closings uh, from open houses. We currently have four and a half million pending, and I was scrubbing uh, FUB prepping for this. We have over 700 open house leads. So it's a big, big part of our team's focus. Um, and you know, everyone in this room is well aware of open houses. I, I think some of us really like leaning into it, and the purpose of today is how you can really, really have a huge advantage by leveraging the, uh, the open house tool that Wello provides. It's amazing. But just quick raise of hands, who is currently focused on open houses? Like this is a part of your lead generation. Awesome. And keep your hand up if you are using the open house tool. Okay, good. My objective is to have everybody in this room committed to open houses after this because it, it is such a gold mine. Let's go. All right, so if you didn't have your hand up, I am going to guess that you probably did open houses earlier in your career, and you didn't really have the success that you expect to get from sacrificing your weekend afternoons. It's definitely a commitment to do open houses, and so you just kind of stop doing it, right? So I would call that the standard approach. There's an elevated approach to open houses, and really everything that we're talking about today is gonna follow a theme that just about every presentation over the last two days has had, which is how do we differentiate ourselves from the competition, and then how can we get an edge in the race to deliver value to the prospect? It's not speed to lead, it's speed to delivering value, okay? So the standard approach, you are probably not circle prospecting, you're probably not really doing a whole lot of prep work ahead of time, you're showing up right before, you're using the physical pen and paper, old school sign and sheet, and then your follow-up is going to be focused on the chattier prospects, right? Which, you know, I get it, and of course that's just sales 101, the people that we connect with, we wanna go deep with, but what the open house tool allows you to do is go deep with everybody, not just the small handful of people that we're friendly with you and we're, you know, you connected with. Because here's a little secret, you guys. That nice chatty person that you thought was gonna be your best friend moving forward, that's just their personality type, right? They had that same exact warm, pleasant exchange with the next agent at the next open house they went to, the next agent at the next open house they went to. They might go to four, four, five, six open houses. So again, how are we differentiating ourselves from the competition because we have to shine brighter than every other jabroni that they are meeting that day, right? <laughs> so, A game, right? We are circle prospecting. We're gonna do at least 40 adjacent houses to the property. 10 to the left, 10 to the right, 20 across the street. Ideally, we would do this twice before the actual open house. We're going to get the commitment that we have the open house at the start of the week, that lets us create some marketing materials. I'm going to show you a slide that shows our circle prospecting flyer that we use. Um, and then we're going to circle prospect maybe Thursday or Friday. And then before the open house, we're going to get there early and we're going to do it again, right? And then we're going to zoom out a little bit wider because we do not want to miss the FISBOs and the expireds that are in the surrounding neighborhood, right? We're probably going to drive to those. Just get in the car, hit it, get in the car and hit it, right? We're gonna go deep on the open house tool. Obviously, that's why I am here to talk about the open house tool. Um, but the seller suite is also a really, uh, uh, the, the, the seller tool that you've heard so much about this weekend is a really big piece as well, because guess what? Neighbors come to your open houses as well. And it is amateur to think that a neighbor is a waste of your time. So many people would rather chase a non-pre-qualified buyer lead rather than a neighbor that comes into your open house because we think in our heads, oh, they're just a nosy neighbor. They want to see how the Joneses live next door. But they are definitely a seller lead. You need to treat them as such. So we actually have neighbors sign in with the seller suite QR code, not the open house QR code. And then really important, you have to do your prep work, right? You need to be the authority on everything that has to do with that listing. And you also need to have a game plan um, for next activities 
that you can engage with people that walk in your open house with. So a lot of prep work, we'll get deep into that. We have a slide for all four of these. And then the big, big little gift that I will give you is this off-market inventory binder that if you're a solo agent and you're thinking, oh, this guy runs a big team, it's easy for him to have this whole thing with uh, off-market access, every single person in this room can uh, benefit from this little cheat code I'll give you here at the end. So here is our circle prospecting flyer, right? Anytime you're door knocking, you have to have a leave behind because you're probably going to have about 10% or so of people actually opening uh, the door for you, right? So it's a waste of your time if you don't have a good leave behind. Um, and of course, we have our seller suite QR code right there. Every single door knocking material should have that call to action scan for free home evaluation. You will notice I am not including price on there. That is very intentional. If you give them every bit of information, interested parties don't have a reason to call you. So that's very intentional that price is being left off. And then we, we kind of have our little script, or at least half of it, right there um, on the flyer. So if somebody were to open the door, I would say, hey, Kyle Draper, um, I'm with Serene Team at DXP Realty, your neighbor, the Jones, a few doors down, we're gonna have an open house this weekend, and we're actually expecting a lot of traffic. And so it was really important to me that I introduce myself to all the neighbors because I, you know, I don't think this would happen, but it wouldn't be the first time that it was really trafficy on the street and maybe somebody like blocked your driveway in when they parked. If that happens, I want you to have my information. I want you to call me immediately. I will step out of the open house and I will get it fixed for you immediately, right? So that's how I start the conversation because we're coming of service. We're coming of contribution, right? And then we're gonna pivot it into the ask. We're then going to say, you know, and like I just said, we're expecting a lot of traffic at the open house. We're expecting multiple offers on this property. And what that means is that there's going to be a surplus of pre-approved buyers with extreme demand to move into the neighborhood that are willing to pay top dollar that just barely miss out on your neighbor's house. So understanding that, would you ever consider a no obligation off-market showing to see if your house might be a good fit for them. Remember yesterday, guys, when, when Mike Novak was talking about that hypothetical that he used in his buyer consult about, I think it was something like, if I were to send you the perfect home in the next 30 days, would you hypothetically want to see it and pursue it? Hypotheticals are very powerful tools in sales, you guys. That's how you can really start identifying uh, the, the possible seller leads when you are doing your circle prospecting. The open house tool, good Lord, you guys. If you're not using this, you need to use it starting like today, seriously. What this does, number one, it's gonna save you so much freaking time because everything is automated and it gives you a head start in the race to deliver value to the prospects that come through. Because again, you are not the only open house agent that they are seeing that day. Okay, so they scan the QR code, do not have printouts, right? Because they're gonna get the property's information if they scan it. We're a green paperless team, right? And so they scan it, they fill their information in. What then happens is it goes directly into Follow Up Boss under the agent that dialed it up. By the way, setting this up, it is your branded website backslash open dash tool. If that's too confusing, just go to branded website slash tools and you'll get there as well. All that you do is you select the yourself or the agent on your team from a dropdown and then you pop the MLS number in. That is a five second process. Easy, easy, easy to do. So they're getting the leads when they scan, they're getting put in follow up boss under the agent. It then kicks off an action plan. And all that I did was very slightly tweak uh, the one that Wailopo gives you basically. And that tweak was that I want an email going out with our team's first time home buyer materials. We have a really good video, really good PDF that they're getting. So we're winning the race in terms of delivering value to the client, right? Because um, think about what the other agents are doing that are not using this tool. They're seeing an open house maybe on a Saturday. Then they're going to take Sunday off because people don't like to work seven days in the week. And then midday Monday, they start manually putting the information in to their CRM. They're wasting time. They're also... They're losing the race to me and everybody in this room, right? Because we're doing all this ahead of time. We're getting in front of them. Um, and then if you're not using this tool, you are probably 
only going to focus again on the people that you felt like you really connected with. And that is the biggest missed opportunity that I have discovered from using this tool. Because probably the best thing that this does is this last bit here. It kicks off a dynamic property drip based on the open house that you are sitting. So it's going to start sending the client properties in the same neighborhood, same price point, similar bedroom, bathroom count, all that good stuff. And oh my god, we closed one last year where when the expert got put together, I was asking the agent on my team, you didn't really tell me about this person. Normally, you're pretty chatty when you've got good prospects. Like, what happened here? And she was like, oh my god, Kyle, this person was a fucking dick to me at the open house. <laughs> like, they did not want anything to do with me doing the whole like, hey, so how'd you hear about the open house? You know, didn't want anything to do with that. They, they basically were walking through. Don't talk to me, salesperson. And you know, you let them do their thing. And then as they're leaving, she tried to like step in and so what'd you think? Like, didn't work at all. So you chalk that up as a loss, right? Without this tool, we never would have been able to sell them a house. Because what happened is two weeks later, we just get a random email from this person saying, hey, I really like this house that you sent me. Can you show it to me tonight? We're like, whoa. Two days later, we're under contract with them. That's huge, you guys. Like That is the opportunity that this tool allows you. And it's just a miss if we're not using it, right? Huge, huge, huge. OK, prep work before the open house. You need to be the authority, right? Even if you are a rookie, brand new team leads, it's important that we teach our newer people this stuff too. They might not have, obviously they don't know, they don't know the answers to a lot of this stuff. You do not want to be the agent that when somebody is asking you a question, you're like, oh, well, let me call the listing agent or I'll get back to you on that. Or you have to like look down at your, at your sheet to have the answers. No, study and do the homework. You know, you know you're going to get asked certain questions. When are offers due? Do you, do you have any offers? Are there terms the seller is looking for? Even if it's not your listing, talk to the listing agent ahead of time and get all that information. If it's a condo, you know that you're going to ask questions about the HOA. What does the HOA cover? How are the reserves? Are there pending litigation, rental restrictions? You know you're going to get asked all this stuff. So do your homework ahead of time. Because again, we have to differentiate ourselves from every other open house agent that the client is going to meet that same day. And if you have answers, then you're an authority, and they're going to feel good about giving you their business. If you don't have the answers, why in the world would they want to give you, uh, their business to you rather than anyone else? Huge. Understand property stats and upgrades. Off-market binder, that's the last bit we'll get to. Um, like we already said, we use the, um, the seller suite QR code for neighbors who come in. Um, and then no other open house is going on in the neighborhood. Like, like I have up here, it's, the goal is not to sell that particular property. It's to deliver value so that you can sell them any property, right? And just like, you know, cute girl playing hard to get kind of a thing, you need to be okay telling the prospect that there are other open houses that they might find valuable that they can go to, right? And this is the big one here, huge. Big nugget right here, guys. Know the vacant open houses in the neighborhood. Huge, huge, huge. Because if you are able to set an appointment for that same exact day to go tour them a vacant property in the neighborhood that fits their criteria, you are so far ahead in terms of cementing that relationship, really bonding with them, creating that rapport. If you're sitting in the open house with a partner, one of you stays at the open house, the other just leaves immediately and does it. And by the way, I, I tell my team, if you're doing it with somebody else, it is not this one's mine, this one's yours, this one's mine, this one's yours, you split all the business. That's a big, big reason is because you can really take these elevated measures. Huge, huge, huge. If you're doing it by yourself, then you're saying, okay, well, I obviously have to be here until about four o'clock. I won't even pick up my open house signs. I'll meet you at this place at 410. Does that work, right? Worst case scenario, if they flake, you didn't waste your time, you're already out in the neighborhood. All right, final 30 seconds. This is huge, guys. I have my VA every Thursday scrub from our unofficial corporate sponsor, Zillow. They scrub, they scrub Fizbo's. Fizbo's, this is free, 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 free. So every Thursday, my VA does this, and he creates this list in our team's Google Drive. And all of my agents, when they join the team, they buy a black binder 
They label it off-market listings, internal use only, and this is a prop at our open houses. People walk in, we don't say anything about it. We tell them, hey, please scan the QR code, sign in. They see this binder, and like, what is that? Well, is your search only limited to on-market properties, or are you also considering off-market properties? What the hell is an off-market property? Well, a lot of sellers, for whatever reason, they don't want their home on the market, but they are super willing to sell it to you still. And you know, typically, it's a little less competitive than this like, zoo of an open house that we're at right now. By the way, if they walk in, if they have an agent with them, don't say this. You'll get punched in the face. But, <laughs> but if they walk in and they, they say that they do have an agent, that's a great question. Is your search exclusively limited to on-market? Is, is your agent only showing you on-market, or are they also exposing you to off-market? Right? Huge way, huge way to test that kind of weak relationship that they might have with the agent. So anyway, again, this is not something you need to be on a big team to have. If I were legitimately doing my teams off markets, it'd probably be down to there, right? This is easy, it is free, and everyone in the room can do it. I hope that was helpful, guys. So please follow me on Instagram, it'd be great to connect. I could, I, I could send you some more information about this. Um, and raise your hand if you are more confident about sitting open houses. Who wants to sit more open houses now? Let's go.